en Barcelona con us. Visit the city and enjoy. David is a good friend and maybe with his half Spanish and my half English we learn. It's a good experience, like it's good to meet them all and hopefully in the future they'll all have good careers for their football and I can say I knew them. <laughs> Many top clubs have cashed in on their Milk Cup talent over the years. Here's our top five Milk Cup old boys, their total transfer value over £100 million. Nice to see you, Andy. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. You're here to try and save Manchester United a few quid then in the future. Aye, well, I hope so. <laughs> this scouting game, I mean, it's very, very important in modern football, trying to save clubs a lot of money. How many years' experience have you got behind you, Andy, first? Well, this is me in my 23rd year with Man U. You've seen a lot of players? I have seen quite a lot. And eventually, we come up with Fletcher, so he was always what I thought was the best. And a Scott. And a Scott. <laughs> Manchester United, well, they're looking for the special player. Sir Alec Ferguson, he wants the special players. He said to us once, Andy, he didn't want the best boy in the street. He wanted the best boy in the town. And that's, that's how we've worked for him. I sometimes wonder how they would love in the British football. Oh! If somebody's there representing Newcastle or Chelsea, they're doing their job if they, if they like a player, and I like the same player and five years late is the same player, so be it. They're no, they're no good at hiding names or, as long or, as we or, get or the ages. Player. I mean, I can, I can see two lads over to me right now, Peter from Newcastle. Couldn't meet a nicer lad, and if he's up in Scotland and he thinks, where does that boy come from? I'll give him the details, yeah. not a problem. Track clubs like Barcelona, Manchester United, uh, Lazio two years ago, of world quality players of youth level coming through, then it speaks for itself, the tournament. The Nevilles, Beckham, all these people, they all remember coming to here as kids, unknowns and playing. Now, the younger kids that's coming through now, they've heard them talking like that and saying, where are you, oh, I've got the milk cup. Oh, hey, you love the milk cup. When we say we're bringing a couple of teams to the milk cup, there are plenty of volunteers. <laughs> One player who got his big break at the Milk Cup was Gareth MacDonald. Last year he was turning defenders inside out. This year his sister has been turning heads. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, he's staying our day. Yeah, so. I was talking to him yeah, actually. All the Boys. Meet Hayley MacDonald, the face of this year's Milk Cup, and brother Garth, one of the stars of last season's Premier section. Now he's in the Premier League with West Brom. He was back in town casting his eye over the current crop and meeting up with a few old friends. Glad to be back anyway. It's great over here. I enjoyed it last year, so it's good to get back and see all the coaches again. Can you manage this year? Oh, 
Come on, Matty. Come on, Matty. Go ahead, son. And uh, your family, big ties to the Milk Cup for the both of you. Yeah, I'm taking over this year. <laughs> it's my turn now. Since yeah, he's away, I'm taking role, over. You, you. Yeah, I'm Pinter Girl this year for the Dairy Council. That involves throwing the milk around at the end, the final, and things like that. So it's been really good fun. I really enjoyed the parade. Great day. And away from her official duties, there was time to catch up with little brother. I've been trying to keep keep tabs on you and watching his games. I think it's nice when you see him on TV and stuff. Oh, I knew him. <laughs> it's nearly famous. <laughs> For the 16-year-old, the move to the Midlands has been a massive step. It's about a month I've been there for now. We're just just back from Denmark, I came came third in the competition. So now it's been it's been really good. I'm settling down, okay. Training and all, it's been good fun, enjoying it. Your digs all right? Aye, digs have been really good, yeah. Did you get your broadband on? Not, not yet, not yeah, yet. Yeah, working on that. We're working, working on that. For local scout Colin Ireland, there's no questioning Garth's ability. How good do you reckon he is then? I think he'll do well. That's why I recommend him. <laughs> so you never know when you're getting watched. It's certainly a great place like to get spotted. Lots of people that came through here. So, does the football bug run in the family? Yeah, well, I watch Garth and everyone else, yeah. I'm afraid I'm not up on my knowledge, but it's good fun. So. This guy number one here? No, the one just, no, that's Everton, the opposite side. Oh, sorry. Keep watching. Still to come, my old team Chelsea in the Milk Cup. Most teams sing when they're winning, but for Jomo Cosmos from South Africa, win, lose or draw, they're always on song. Not racist, we got white guys here, got blacks. We also got players from Africa like Malawi. Even my captain here is from Nigeria. <laughs> this is our coach, uh, coach um, uh, Ronnie Moroka. He's a, he's a good coach to us. It's been very nice to us since the preparation of this tournament because we've been preparing for a long time. And, you know, he's a good coach in short. So it's, uh, I, uh, you, you, you don't have to talk nice about me. Okay. You, you will still play. I won't drop you from the team. <laughs> Dinner time. Good old pasta and tomato sauce keeps the boys going. They have a chef at their football academy and they rarely set foot in the kitchen. Do you not like to learn how to cook? No? No. no. <laughs> is, that a, is that a girl's joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A much more subdued team descended off the bus at the Coleraine showgrounds. I'd been with them all day, but knew it was time to step back and let them focus on the game in hand. Terrific team effort, the South Africans just weren't strong enough to overcome the might of Manchester United. We tried our best. Um, we were playing with a great team, and then I believe we played well. Do you enjoy it, TJ? You enjoy it? Yeah. Good. Would you like to come back here? For more than two decades, John Hart has been the main man at Anderson Park in Coleraine. He's one of an army of Milk Cup volunteers who are the key to the tournament's success. I walked across an empty land. So you think uh, that it's never going to come, but uh, suddenly it's on you, and then uh, the first ball's kicked. Suddenly it's Friday night, and it's all over, and you're looking forward to a break, and then 